Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And I think today, because it is Friday, the 22nd, tomorrow is Reboss vs. Namayunas fight card. 13 fights. I think today we're going to do a last breakdown, my final predictions on what I think could happen tomorrow. And I really like this card. I know there's not crazy names on this card, some like pay-per-views like 300 or 301 or anything like that. I get it. But on this card, there's going to be some fun fights. And sometimes, that's all you can ask for. So, starting off, number one, we have Muhammad Usman versus Mick Parkin. Now, <clears throat> I think Muhammad Usman is a plus 125 underdog. Betting-wise, is probably a good one. I would assume uh, Muhammad Usman by knockout is going to be, obviously, an underdog. It's going to be, you know, underdog money. So, let's take a look real quick on uh, FanDuel. At this point, they should have the damn uh, uh, odds out and stuff like that because they didn't when I was live a couple days ago. Sorry, not being live very much this week. It's been one of those weeks. So, yeah. Anyways, so again, on the prelims, we have Muhammad Usman versus Mark, uh, Matt, wait, Mick Parkin. Sorry. Personally, I like double chances. Um, so, Muhammad Usman, KO. Or on points is a plus 130. Muhammad Usman KO or submission. So you're kind of banking on him getting a knockout. Plus 270. I don't necessarily like banking on that knockout. Only because of the fact that Mick Parkin defensively is very good. He doesn't get hit a lot. Now if he makes a mistake, Usman has that you know one punch knockout power to finish Parkin for sure. But Parkin is just defensively sound. Even if he's not great, even if he loses this fight, I don't suspect he takes a lot of punches because if he does, he's going to get finished. So expect more of a clinch game and see in Muhammad Usman using his uh, strength and his power and explosiveness to get takedowns. But again, if you're going to bet, plus 270 or really plus 130 is not a bad one. So if you parlay, let's say the uh, KO, TKO, or on points, plus 130. And then we go over to uh, Igor Severino versus Andre Lima. Uh, Igor, 8-0. Andre Lima, 7-0. Now again, 20 years old against 20, uh, 25, plus 150 for Igor. Andre Lima, minus 185. They like him to win. He won this, a decision on the contender series. Igor finished his fight on uh, on the contender series. I think he only fought once. Yes, fought once. Uh, Silva, which was... I'll tell you what. I was very impressed with the uh, the uh, other guy. that he, The guy that he fought. What's his name? Javante? No. Jahana, wait, Janata Silva? Wow, what a name that is. Uh, I was impressed with him, to be honest. So, again, you go over. You look at the, the uh, Andre Lima, the, the, the Silva, which he changed his name. It's Igor... Severino or it's Da Silva, whatever. Double chance, and he's a, a little bit of an underdog, like I said, at plus 150. He has very, very good uh, uh, close boxing. Like when he, he closes the distance with a left hook, he dropped the guy a multitude of times and hurt him and caught him a bunch of times with that left hook. And he had good takedowns. So really, they think it's either going to be a knockout or on points for Andre Lima. I think personally it could be uh, KO, TKO, or submission or on points, but I think Severino wins this matchup personally. So if you if you want to sprinkle a little bit on there, you could do a uh, Andre Lima or I would do an Igor Da Silva, which is plus 210, but if that's a little bit too, bit too rich, throw Andre Lima, KO, TKO, or on points, or... You could really do uh, uh, betting Andre Lima rounds one or two, or you could do fight to start round number two. Uh, round number three is a plus 134, uh, is a minus 134. So you could do it to for the fight to make it to the third round, or for that third round to start is a minus 134. So two leg parlays, a plus 301. That's some pretty damn good odds. Now, if you want to keep that rolling and not make a bet with those two, if you want to keep going with it, I don't like Daria Zalesagova, whatever that last name is. I don't like her in this matchup. I think her ground game is very, very bad. You watch her fights 
Maybe she's improved it a little bit. Sure. Her striking's not even that great. I gotta be honest. The only thing I don't like is the age of Rendon. Uh, 35 years old against 28 years old. We know the statistics. Statistically, Daria should win this matchup. And again, you look at the odds. Um, let's get over here real quick. You look at the odds. Again, double double, blah, 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 double chance. Uh, Daria, KO slash submission is a plus 230. KO or on points is a minus 185. I think Batsurat Rendon, KO or on points is a plus 190. That's what I would go with. They think she gets a submission or on points. Okay, I guess. Sure. Or, again, you can always do uh, to start, you know, well, if I go the distance, yes or no. They suspect it'll be to go to the distance is the minus 250. All right. And uh, they also think over under is a, a minus 280 over two two and a half rounds. Under two and a half rounds is plus 205. Again, personally, I think the fight will end. How will the fight end? On points, which is a minus 260. Now, again, if you want to be a little bit risky with the, double, with the double chance, again, I think it'll be KO, TKO, or on points for Rendon. So that's what I'm going to do. But even if you want to follow Daria, which is a minus 105, that still puts you at plus 684 odds. Fine. And if you do uh, Rendon to win by KO or on points, is a, is a plus. 1064. I know those might freak you out a little bit, little bit but the odd odds for Rendon to do that is a plus 190. That's not crazy. That's slight to moderate underdog. It's not crazy. Uh, none of these are past 200 or pl past 190, which one of them obviously is for Rendon for sure. But again, not bad. Decision will the fight go to the decision? They think Rendon to win by decisions a plus 360 underdog. They think uh, Daria by decisions a minus 600. Sure. Now you go to Stephen Wen versus Jarno Ahrens. Ahrens, he, you know, is not a guy. He's only been finished one time in his career by submission. He's lost a couple of decisions, four to be exact. And he hasn't been submitted since 2019. I don't suspect that to happen. I could see a finish from Steven Wynn, um, you know, with the strikes. He has seven finishes out of his nine wins. I don't think this fight goes the distance uh, because of it. The, the grappling ability for Jarno could make this, could slow this matchup down, but I think he will be constantly going for it. And will this fight go the distance? No, it's only a plus 104. Yes, is a minus 132. Not bad at all. Now, again, double chance. Uh, that's, uh, uh, da, 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 method around, let's not do that. I guess they don't have double chance on this one. Oh, right here. Okay. So if you, I personally like Steven Wynn by TKO or KO or on points is a minus 140. Actually, the odds makers like that. That's what they're picking, even though. I'm pretty sure they have Stephen Wen as a. Oh, he is a favorite. Jarno is the underdog. So again, minus 140, not bad at all. I like those odds. Those that's what I'm picking. And then you have Miles Johns versus Cody Gibson. Cody Gibson has had some um, some uh, submission finishes being finished by submission issues. Miles Johns, if he's also been finished two times out of his two losses. So Cody Gibson, I think, does a lot of good things in this matchup as long as he can keep that distance and use his front kicks. The issue is, is the big power coming back his way. Now, I'm not worried about him getting one shot knocked out with a punch. I am worried about him getting dropped and then put in a bad submission by Miles Johns. Not saying he's a crazy finisher with those. He only has two submission wins, but he also does go for it. He has a couple, like I said, a couple. I'm pretty sure he, um, John Castaneda caught him in it. Cody Gibson in this matchup, if he can fight the way that he does, has the potential of doing. He's 11, 11 finishes, 7 TKO, 4 by submission. I like Cody Gibson in this one. 
Now, I don't think the odds are going to like that I like him. I got to be honest with that. So it is a little bit of a riskier one. But Cody Gibson, KO, TKO, or on points is a plus 140. If you want to get risky, Cody Gibson by KO or submission. So you're suspecting Cody Gibson to get a finish plus 390. That's not a bad one either, but it's plus 390. I'd say... Miles John, KO, TKO, or on points is the minus 140. I like the other way around. I like Cody Gibson, betting-wise. I think Miles Johns could give him some issues for sure, but I like Cody Gibson, betting-wise. Plus 140 is not bad. So now you have a five, uh, bet one, two, three, four, five, at a plus 46.92. Now again, you can break these up. You don't have to do them all in one. I'm just, this is just what I'm putting out here, you know, um, again, go back over, Miles Johns, now you have Ricardo Ramos versus Julian Erosa, Julian Erosa is a slight underdog at plus 150, um, minus 175 for Ricardo Ramos, 28 years old, now I want Julian Erosa to win this matchup, the issue is, is because the creativity of Ricardo Ramos uh, might be able to catch Julian Erosa. And finish him now saying a submission for Julian Rosas at plus 240 the submission possibility is there you know now if you look at submission rounds uh, Julian Rosa two or three is 1100 this might be a live bet one I like Julian Rosa betting wise they think the betters think Ricardo Ramos, KO to go or on points is a plus 100. They, they, you know, will this fight go over under? Over two and a half is a plus 134. Under is minus 172. Now, again, betting wise, for Julian Rosa, the only way he wins this matchup, I think, is if he, if he uh, gets a finish. Submission or on points is plus 240. I might as well just go Julian Erosa KO TKO or on some or or submission plus 240. You might as well just click that button on there and place a bet on that. I like that a lot, a lot. Now again, you can do round by round. You think Julian Erosa to win by submission in rounds one or two, 850, two or three, 1100. I think if he does win by submission, it will be a little bit later. It will be him going through the storm and getting it. So two and three isn't even a bad bet. 1100 says kind of scary, but again, not a bad one at all. Now you go to Trey Ogden versus Kurt Hullabau. 37 against 34 plus 125 underdog for Kurt Hullabau. That's not, those aren't bad odds at all. And I think there's some good ones there. I think if you go double chance, Kurt Hullabaugh, uh, da, 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 submission or on points plus 200 very likely now you can do they think submission or on points fair if you want a little bit of better odds go to TKO, KO or TKO or on points because that's a plus 115 to a minus 135 I don't think he's necessarily going to submit Kurt could sure definitely could but I also think Kurt could submit him. So if you want to play it safe a little bit, do a plus 115. Kurt Hullabaugh by submission or on points. I like Kurt on that front. I think it's a possibility for him to get a submission. But I also think it's a possibility for Trey Ogden to get him down to the ground, beat him up a little bit, and kind of win a fight. Win the fight like that. Because Kurt's going to be okay with being on his back. And I think he's good defensively. He did get caught by an arm bar by Shane Burgos, but he also dropped Shane Burgos and then rushed in and got caught with a, a, a arm bar. So if you want to play a risky, which is what we're doing, Kerr Holobo by submission or on points plus 200. Now, again, you don't have to do them seven like I am right here. And then you go Amanda, uh, da, 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 Lewis Pajello versus Fernando Padilla. Lewis is a plus 145 to a minus 170 favorite. This one's interesting because you go down, click here, da, 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 double chance. They think Fernando Padilla KO or on points is the minus 125. I think it could be uh, Lewis. Uh, I don't think this fight goes to the decision. I could see a, a thing where 
Over under is interesting on this one. Under is a plus 152 to a minus 196. I also think, uh, let's see right here, double chance. I like Lewis to win this matchup. I got to be honest. I think if he gets in close, his big power can show up. So a KO slash TKO or on points at plus 150, I'll take that 100%. And then Billy Q versus Yusuf Zalal. I think this fight goes to the distance. I could see Yusuf Zalal getting a finish here. I don't think Billy Q will. I think Yusuf Zalal will shock a lot of people with his striking and how strong he's going to be against Billy Q. Billy Q, very slow starter. You have to do some live odds on this one because I think there's a possibility also uh, Yusuf Zalal getting a good position early because he's such a slow starter on Billy Q's part. Um, there is a, a thing there for Yusuf Salah to, you know, get a TKO win or get a submission win early. Rounds one or two is, oh wait, round one or two is plus 1,900. But again, if he gets a good position, he could get that. He also could get a back position and finish him pretty early. Rounds one or two is a plus 1,000. Two or three is 1,400. Double chance is, what, again, what I like to do a lot. I think uses law KO or on points plus 125 uses law submission or on points is a plus 150. I like that. I, I'm not necessarily saying he's going to get a submission, but I like the odds saying it's maybe, but I, I think this fight goes to the distance, but in case it doesn't, this helps so much. Or again, you can do a time uh, fight. Da, 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 da. To start round three, minus 360. So there's not great ones here with if I go the distance. They think yes. There's a possibility of it not. We got to be honest about that. So double chance. I like uses the law betting wise. Submission or on points. I'm banking on the points just because it's plus 150. It's not bad at all. Uses the law KO, TKO or on points plus 125. You might as well go 25 more odds and do the submission or on that. So Again, it's going to look crazier than it is when you have nine of them, you know, together. But, yeah. Peyton Tabak, uh, Cameron Samen. I don't know if this fight goes the distance. I think it's an incredible matchup. It really is. Now, uh, da, 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 da. Money line is Cameron Samen's a plus 118 underdog. Well, if I go the distance, they think one, uh, minus 172 plus 132 Yes to no, 130 plus 132. So double chance on this one. Cameron Samen, KO, uh, TKO, or submissions, a plus 490. I think that's a little nuts, I got to be honest. Uh, they think Peyton Tablet, KO, TKO, or on points is a minus 115. So they're banking on Peyton getting a finish. And I'm I'm a little bit surprised on that. I gotta be honest because we have we we have seen uh, uh, Samen get punched a little bit. We've seen him get hit quite a bit, you know. But I also think there's positions that he can get Tabit to. He, he's gonna show his strength, Samen wise. So again, I, I even though I do think Peyton wins this matchup, betting wise, Cameron Samen. Um finish plus 490 that's some good odds there's a possibility of that happening now we have Edmund Shabazi versus AJ Dobson this is a weird matchup and I don't think it's necessarily a good one as we already know you go to Edmund Shabazi in 11 and 01 point 12 and 4 AJ Dobson's a plus 164 everybody should be betting on uh, Edmund AJ Dobson's not winning this fight but double chance you go by uh, finish for Edmund Shabazian. Um, da, 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 da. Edmund Shabazian by KO slash TKO or submissions of plus 105. I think this fight goes the distance. Now, ah, going the distance is a minus 165. You think Edmund can get a finish at some point to plus 105. Let's just throw the minus 165. That gives you some nice odds. It's a little bit of a favorite one as well. That's okay. Now you go to Carl Williams versus Justin Taffa. Justin, Justin Taffa, bad man, uh, plus 185. Even though I think Carl Williams can win this matchup, I think it's an interesting fight. I really do. 
you go uh, da 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 Carl Williams again I don't know if Carl Williams can finish Justin Taffa I'm not really for sure on that I think he wins by decision drawn you know uh, uh, taking him down and stuff so the only real bet here is uh, uh, Justin Taffa to win by knockout that would be the only one rounds two or three I think it would have to be later just because Carl Williams defensively is decent early Justin Taffa to win by knockout or TK, uh, KO or TKO in rounds two or three plus 650. I think that's the best ones because personally, I think if he's going to win, it's going to be there. Will this fight go the distance? No. No. I The only way I can see this fight going the distance is if Carl Williams is able to get him down and he doesn't risk anything, which is possible. Plus 144. I'm going to throw it out there. Plus 144. I like those odds. Well, if I go the distance, don't think so. But there's a there's an actual possibility if Carl Williams can just get Justin Taffa down, that he can just continuously do that for three rounds. Let's click the plus 144 odds on that one. Next and last, Amanda Rebos versus Roman, Rose Namajunas. Uh, Rose Namajunas is a slight favorite at minus 185. Amanda Rebus at plus 150. Now, this one's interesting because if, if, you, if you think Amanda Rebus is going to win, it's probably going to be by finish. It's I don't think she'll win a decision in this one. So if you go to Amanda Rebus, da, 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 let's see, total rounds, over four and a half, so there's no money over or under at all. Because you're saying that the fight's going to go the distance, so plus 112, it's not really anything there. Submission-wise, Amanda Rebos to win by submission. Amanda Rebos to win by submission in rounds 1, 2, or 3. Possibly. I personally think if she wins by submission, it's going to be 3, 4, or 5. That's plus 1,400. But just do double chance. And Amanda Rebos by finish, plus 380 is probably the one to do. I don't think this fight goes the distance if a reboss is going to win. Now, again, the odds are going to look a little bit more obscure because we have an entire card put on here. And, again, it's going to look a little nuts. It is. Break it up. Pick the one how you want to do. Do two at a time. Do three at a time. There's 13 fights. There's some really, really good ones there for sure. Um, now, the last thing that we're going to do is line this whole card up da, 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 and just do straight so if you think Usman wins obviously click him people think Lima wins I think the Silva but if you click Lima fine let's just do Lima uh, let's just go underdog for Usman favor for Lima favorite for Daria I don't think she wins uh, Jarno is a uh, uh, Jarno is an underdog let's go Steven Wen um, Miles Johns, Cody Gibson. Miles John is the favorite. Ricardo Ramos is the favorite in that one too. Minus 170. Kurt Holabow, Trey Ogden is the favorite. Minus 144. Main card, uh, Fernando Padilla. Lewis, Fernando Padilla is the favorite. Billy Q is a slight favorite. I'm going to go a little bit with the underdog here. Yusuf Zalal. Cameron Samen, Peyton Talbot. Cameron Samen is a plus 118 underdog. Let's click him. Even though I think Peyton wins. AJ Dobson, Edmund Shabazian. Huge favorite for Edmund. Let's click him. He's two to one. I think that's a little nuts, but I think he does win. Carl Williams, Justin Taffa. I'm gonna go Carl Williams, but Justin Taffa, fine. Now, now Amanda Rebos, Rose Namajunas. Amanda Rebos is a plus 180, 225 for Rose Namajunas. Let's click Rose. Uh, let's make it a little funky and do Amanda Rebos. Now you put five bucks. Good money there. But again. You don't have to do an entire card. Break it down a little bit. If there's certain fights where you don't think it's going to go to decision or it's most likely not going to go to decision, last thing we'll talk about for sure is, like, I think um, Miles John, uh, Julian Rosa won't go the distance. Will the fight go the distance? No. Uh, I think there's a possibility for... Um, uh, da, 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 da. Steven Wen, Jarno. That one's a little bit different, complicated because I think Jarno is defensively okay. Let's do, oh, Luis Padilla and see that one. That fight won't, I don't think will go the distance. 
Um, let's do uh, da, 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 Peyton Sabbath, Peyton Talbot, and Co uh, Cameron Saman. Uh, well, if I go the distance, I don't think so, but it's a possibility. That's still three, not bad at all. And then last but not least, will Carl Williams and Justin Taffa go the distance? No. That's plus 732 for four of them. Two favorites, or three favorites, and one underdog with the same in Peyton Tablet one. Possibility that fight does not go. Even if you take the Peyton one out, it's still plus 250. You throw five bucks on there, you could win 12, almost 13. Throw 20, you could win 5173. 7173 total. So again, profit not too bad there as always guys subscribe like comment let me know who you're picking i have a pretty good idea what you guys have talked about for sure but let me know 100 on this final prediction day see you guys tomorrow i will be live and as always peace